Welcome to Excel in a Minute. For today's lesson, we are going to talk about one of the dynamic array functions in Microsoft 365 that was made available in 2020. It is a single formula that spills results in multiple cells after sorting a range or an array. Got any ideas? If you answered sort by function, then you got it right. Without further delay, let's dive into its syntax. Here we have an array with two columns. The first column lists the available items, while the second column lists the item's retailing price. Now, let's return a list of items sorted according to their respective prices. Thus, in a separate column, let's call on the sort by function. The first required argument is the array. The array refers to the collection of values to be sorted based on the second argument. For this example, let us select cells A2 to be 11. Now for the second argument, the by array, let's select cells B2 to be 11. Since we want to sort the data according to its price. Finally, enclose the formula with a parenthesis then press enter. As you can see, the formula returned the array sorted in its default order, which is the ascending order. If you wish to indicate the sort order, key in 1 for ascending order or negative 1 for descending order. Now let's try once more and indicate the sort order this time. For the second example, let's utilize this list of persons and sort them according to their age. Again, call the sort by function, then select the array. In this case, we want the formula to return the names alone. Thus, select cells A2 to A10 as the array. Cells B2 to B10 as the by array. Now for the sort order, let's try using negative 1. And there you have it. The formula returned the names from oldest to youngest. Now it's your turn to sort your data using the sort by function. Thank you for your time. We hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more Excel in a minute. You may also check out the link below to download the presentation. We hope to see you in the next lesson.